Corinne Denise with Does Size Matter and we are back today doing another RV review for you. We are at the South Thompson RV dealership in Kamloops, British Columbia, Canada and we're going to take a look at the Cedar Creek Silverback 37 RTH and it's kind of a unique floor plan so I'm excited to tell you about it. Remember that everything we tell you just based on mine and Corey's research and the forums we go on and we found this new resource called rvreviews.net and they give you some really cool unbiased stuff and they do a ton of research so they're a good resource and we will connect to them uh, in a link in the description so go there and check them out because that could really help you with your specific buying needs. I'm going to put a link up at the end that will take you to the specific nuts and bolts construction of the 2019 Cedar Creek Silverback Edition fifth wheel trailer. So that'll give you more specifics on the actual construction and today we're just going to go and review this particular model. So uh, we are at a busy dealership. We'll try and keep the noise down to a minimum. We're also kind of tight quarters here but we want to show you it. So stick with us. Let's go check out the outside. Okay, so let's start at the front of this silverback and take a look. We got good height here, like that. Lots of headroom. <laughs> That's one of our favorite features. So you get this front compartment, which is standard on fifth wheels, right? Um, again, this is not my favorite system, and it would be really hard to do both of these at once, right? So you can. The reason it's not my favorite system is that you're in a rush and all of a sudden you come and you grab this and you and you break these things so i would rather see a magnetic system for that but anyways it's here it's good it's a big door you've got a big space uh, you could put a generator or something of that nature in here if that's what you wanted uh, i see they've got the spare tire there i'm not sure if that's where it's normally kept over here is where your hydraulic system is so that's good and then i'm going to take you around the this would be the driver's side that we're going to go down next watch the gum i stepped in gum back there okay i made a bit of a mistake in this opening is where your uh all your valves and your water fills and those kinds of things are but these doors as soon as you shut them they're locked and I already shut it sorry everybody but you can see it in the construction video that I'm going to link to at the end because I do have one of these open in that video so please go there to check it out your 50 amp connection uh, there are a total of five slides on this rig three of them are the slim rack system and two are rack and pinion hydraulic but it's kind of tight in here so when we go over to the other side i will show you more about those there's also six hydraulic jacks and right here is the auto leveling system so that is a convenient easy way to get your rig set up so let's go around to the other side where we have a little more space and i can show you more okay so now if we go down the passenger side I can show you inside the bay that I closed on the other side. So uh, this would be the pass-through storage on this rig. And I know it might seem a little bit small in comparison to other fifth wheels, but I do have a surprise to show you down the line that helps make up for this. Uh, it's lit and you do have a reel over there um, for your cord and that kind of thing and look at our construction video about that because we did talk about it some more so let's move on down here you have a spray port so you could hook up a hose there i guess to wash your rig lord knows corey would love to have that uh, <laughs> so this slide and the other large slide that's on this trailer is a rack and pinion and it is a hydraulic system which is perfect for this size of a slide the other thing i wanted to show you corey can you look at this 
you've probably heard on some of our other videos where this part of the trailer sometimes we think seems a little bit flimsy i want to point out that this one's reinforced with some sheet metal there i like that okay uh, let's talk windows if you look way up there you can see that there are frameless windows on this trailer and they're beautiful um, not my particular first choice but they're there and they're nice and they're super duper popular also when you're looking way up you can see that this trailer has uh, slide toppers love those that is often something you have to add so you do want to know what options are included and what options would be extra but I see that they've got them on all the slides here and it's just so right on for taking care of the top here slide let's take a look at the smaller slide here way up here on the smaller slide they've got a slim rack system so it is different than the slim tech system in that there's a space there it's not actually attached to the slide wall so it's still a gear driven system um, but they say it's less prone to any shifting or changing uh, which is what was breaking different pieces in that gear system so i don't know a ton about this and the jury's still out but i haven't heard anything negative so keep listening for that uh, and it works good on the smaller slides as you can see this trailer is on a triple axle chassis and there's a reason for that which i'm going to show you but let's look at well i guess you get outdoor sound here you also get a uh, large awning which i'm assuming yes it does have led lighting underneath so when that comes out you'll get some light under here let's take a look at the storage these doors are quite thick and heavy and you can see that um but they go up onto magnets i love that there's a teeny little fridge in here but that's good helps with the cold drinks and you don't have to go inside but you can see that this is a bit of smaller storage than you might have expected let's go over here and take a look at this one again heavy door magnets smaller space but it does go all the way through uh, you've got electrical you've got satellite you could have a tv mount here um, and yes it's a little smaller but keep coming take a look at this how cool is this you get a garage in the back of this trailer so that's pretty cool so you get a ramp and it brings you into this garage space now i'm not a, a toy hauler expert or anything and there are a few things to consider when you're talking about garage space and moving a vehicle of some sort into here one is that the door on this rig is rated for 2500 pounds on four points like say a golf cart it would be rated for 2000 pounds on two points say a motorbike so that's what the door is rated for as for exactly what the trailer is handling i haven't found any exact numbers on that and i'm going to keep digging and hopefully by the time i get this edited and out to you i'll have it if you don't see it flashing across the bottom of your screen it's because i don't have it and you need to ask the other question that i have and needs to be considered is these uh, hooks that you would tie your motorbike or your golf cart down to are really skookum strong hooks and they can hold a lot of weight but the question is not so much the hook it's what is the hook attached to underneath and Corey and I have tried to get under there and have a good look but these rigs have really nice fully enclosed underbellies and I can't get in there so again the question is is are these harnesses hooked down into the frame or just the flooring system I'm still looking and I'm going to ask those questions and see what I can find for you but again if you don't see me flash it across the screen you need to ask that question too because this is a wonderful space you just need to make sure you're using it in the safest way that it was meant and rated to be used because this is so cool check this out too look at that you can put your tools in there you can put all sorts of different things in there i really like that now it is a slide system kind of a 
upside down slide system. So once you get your stuff in here, or I'm sorry, once you get your stuff out of here, this would come down and it has an effect in the space inside and we'll show you that. But for traveling, when all your stuff's in here, this is lifted up and you've got all this space. It does have ventilation for exhaust purposes. It has lighting, it has electrical. Um, so, I mean, if you wanna bring something with you like that, this is a really cool way to do it. And then when you're stopped at the park, your motorbike, your golf cart's out, this is gonna come down, but you still have this space to use. So is it your workshop? Is it your office? What, is it just general storage? It can be whatever you want. So let's come around back to the driver's side. And again, it's really tight here, but I did want to show you, there are two more of these storage compartments and they'll be the same as what was on the other side. They're, um, I just, they're locked and I can't open them, but they will be the same as what's on the other side. And there's two more of them. So that helps with your storage needs. Are you going to put that door up? Yeah, because look at this. Do you need a hand? No. I can do it myself. Okay, so I'm not a professional with the latches, but they are quite simple once you figure them out. So the stairs at the entrance on the Silverback are really nice. These are aluminum. They're a new type of step called, uh, they're the step above. There are a few different companies that are making these, but what's significant is that they flip up as a one piece and go in. I was worried when I did the construction video on this trailer, I was worried that I couldn't manage these. I totally can, they're super easy and they're super sturdy and I love them. So I'm gonna put uh, a link up to me putting them up and showing you how easy they are. So click there if you're concerned about these steps, but honestly, don't be, they're great. Um, also, I'm gonna talk about the door. Okay. First thing I don't like about the door is it's got one of these systems, which are just not my favorite to hook in. I also see there is electrical there. And here's the cool thing that I do like. This is a friction door. So it's not getting blown around in the wind or anything. And the screen is a very nice screen. To me, this is an upgraded screen door from many of the trailers I've seen. So it's got screen here, and then it's got kind of a plasticky piece here, which you could take off if you wanted it to be just a screen. Um, what, okay, so what I don't like is that there's no window in this door, but you can leave this door open and you can have this shut and still have the screen covered or you could take that piece off and just have screen. Like there's just so many options with this screen door and it's, it seems like a really strong and well-built, you know, sometimes screen doors can be a bit fl flimsy. I like this screen door a lot. So let's go in. I get to take my shoes off because I stepped in that gum back there and I would never ever go into an RV and a dealership with something on my shoes. So please be careful of that, but come on in. So speaking of leaving the door open, the issue with that is that you're looking directly into the bathroom in this floor plan. So I'm not in love with that, but you know, it's all a give and take in these RVs. Okay. Wow. You gotta love a fifth wheel for its height and its windows, right? But let's start with the kitchen here. Okay, <laughs> all that height <laughs> gives us some pretty big um, storage area. So we've got some storage and then this is your control panel. And honestly, I loved, oh, wait a second. We should mention this. Oh, what is that? A wireless observation system. I don't know what it is now. Is that a backup camera? Maybe, Maybe it is. So that would be an option that you could get. The thing that I thought that it was is apparently this trailer comes standard with a Wi-Fi booster. That's pretty cool. I'd love to show you what's up there, but let's just dream about it. Or maybe, maybe there's an owner out there <laughs> who would be happy to leave us a message in the comments telling us what is up there or what they use that space for. <laughs> it would be very interesting. 
So uh, coming around, we've got more storage here. Now this is in the slot. Oh, they know the way to my heart. Look at this. Okay, so this is what I would use this for. You can do whatever you want, but you've got storage and they all slide out, but this particular one has an electrical hookup back there. So this is where you put your toaster and your coffee maker if you want, depending on what your storage needs are. But I do love these pull-outs. And see, it's got extra space so you could put taller things. Very cool, hey? Okay, moving around. Ah, uh, Whirlpool. I'm just trying to see if it's convection. I don't think it is, but that's okay. It's big and you do get a suburban uh, big oven. So that's nice. And you get your suburban nice three burner gas stove. And it's a little bit low for me, but it's good. I like it. Uh, you get a backsplash there. Might like it, might not. Ugh. So there's wiring and stuff up there. So you could put some things. You can probably see it better than I can. Puck lighting. You get a drawer here. More storage here. And there's even some storage way down here underneath the oven. So I do like that. Wait a sec. I think these are the soft clothes. Nice. Uh, okay, so then we're over to the Dometic fridge, two-door refrigerator. Um, now, in looking at the brochure, it says that you get a, an electric-only standard fridge uh, that's like 18 cubic feet or something. This is definitely not 18. I think this is more like 13, 13 and a half, and this does have gas. So. I would question that when you're looking at a trailer to determine whether that this is then a uh, upgrade option or not. Uh, and of course, what's the cost of that if it is. There's also a freezer and it's a all the way through freezer. So I like that. And I know lots of our viewers like that. It just is more spacious. You can reconfigure things better when it goes all the way through. I like the height of this. This is a very nice refrigerator. and. To me, uh, the gas option would be worth it. Let's talk about the island next. And this is the beauty of fifth wheels is there's enough space that pretty much most models these days are coming up with islands. And I do really like them. This one has a, a solid surface countertop and it has the split uh, sink covers, which I love because then you can leave one in while you're using the other part of the sink. So this is big. This is a deep undermount stainless sink. Uh, this is definitely an upgraded faucet. So you gotta love that. And if we go down here, you get uh, a little bit of storage there. And then this opens up. And I have shown this before on the silverbacks that you get this pull out tray. So to me, that's just so much easier than having to climb in underneath the sink. So I really like that. And then as we move down, you get four drawers and these are nice. So you have a built-in tray there and then three others, all soft clothes. Very nice. Okay, and then coming back, you get all this in your kitchen too. So, I mean, you get another couple of uh, drawers there. You get this nice feature, more countertop space, more plug-in space. There are lights here, more storage. This is my kind of storage too. So it's very nice. And you get another drawer on this side and more cupboard space there. This is a great kitchen. So then we can go over to the dinette. This is a freestanding uh, dinette. And I believe, yeah, you could put a, uh, a leaf in it and make it deeper. And you do have space for that. Comfortable chairs, nice windows. Let's take a look at the blinds. Pretty good. I think they feel like a pretty durable blind. 
Also remember those frameless windows from outside, they open up by the turn of this and it moves the window out and that's your airflow through there. Again, not my favorite, but there's this one here that also, sorry to turn my back to you, but it lifts up that way. So that gives some more airflow too. All nice. I don't mind the decor in here. I know it's a little darker than a lot of people are wishing for these days, um, but I don't mind it. The uh, vinyl type flooring in here is a Congolian flooring. And then there is what they're calling the stain resistant carpet. Uh, you all know how I feel about carpet in any rig. I would rather not see it there, but they do put them in a lot of the slides. There is no underlay under there. It's just the carpet. And um, stain resistant is good because you're going to have your pets and your probably feet. Although remember, I took my shoes off because they had gum on them. The other thing I wanted to point out is the heating vent that is in here. So all of the heating is ducted through the floors. Again, not my favorite way of doing it just because it leaves kind of a a weaker spot or a place to collect dirt in the floor. But um, the other thing that I'm noticing in this rig is this is the only one for this living space. Now it's not the hugest living area in here before you move up into that one or up into that one. Um, but it is something you should notice that there's one there. If we go up higher, uh, you can see that there is a nice, um, fantastic fan up there. There is nice lighting, but really it's just something to clean. There's puck lighting and there is venting for AC. And you don't see the actual AC unit on these because the returns are actually in the ceiling as well. And then they are ducted through. So let's go up into the living room, which is in the front of this rig. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention is that you get a central vac in here. I really love that. And you get the, you know, the sweeper part of it. So that's nice too. So as you come up, you've got slide controls. And remember, these are going to be the electric slides. You've also got a plug in there. I like the extra window here. That's nice. And there's one on that side too. So this is your theater seating. Ooh, it's very soft and comfortable and I fit it. I quite like that. And of course, perfect view of the TV. When you get these front living rooms on the fifths, I mean, they're just an entertainer's dream, right? You can fit so many people up here. Um, so these will come out, but we're not plugged in. So I think I can't make them come out. Um, more electrical here. This is a huge couch that I'm assuming yeah, so this will all fold out into a bed. More windows. This is that return for the AC. Um, more plugs. You could fit a pretty large TV in here. So many of you will love that. Um, storage, that's good. The part that I like, the electric fireplace. And more storage up here. So very nice. Uh, you're moving over, you've got more storage, the same. You got more electrical there. Getting to another couch here. And yeah, so this is going to make down as well. So, I mean, this could be a massive bed in here. Imagine how many folks you could fit. Um, I like the light switches here. These are kind of smaller windows, but I mean, any window gives you light, right? Um, again, we're on carpet. We do have AC and we do have heat venting in here. So that's good. The other thing that I'm not seeing is uh, USB ports or anything like that. Because if this were our rig, probably what we would do is remove one of these couches and make an office space um, because this is such a great big space. And wouldn't it be cool to have your office in one of these windowed places? I think it would. So. That will be something to think about, but you do have electrical all over the place. So that's good. Okay. Let's go and check out the rest of the rig. Next stop, the bathroom. Come on. This is pretty big. Now I'm going to say the bathroom's big cause it's kind of small, but the spaces that are important to me are big. 
So this is a one-piece fiberglass shower, so I love that. Uh, you're not going to worry about this clicking pieces or caulking or any of that around the base. Um, pretty standard fixtures, nice glass doors, there's a seat, there's shelving, I like it. So when you're looking at this um, vanity, you've got some storage, your mirror there, and more storage behind it. Um, and then this is the part that I really like, which is that you do get a solid surface countertop with a uh, built-in sink. Now it's not a huge sink, but it's fine. And you get all of this space over here for your toothbrush and your comb or whatever. Um, taps could probably be a little better, but otherwise good. You get some shelf storage and then you get more storage underneath there. So I like that on this wall. I know you can't see it, but there's plugins, there's switches, and there is uh, controls for the fantastic fan that's way the heck up there and we can't reach it. So there's that. You've also got uh, heat venting and you've got AC in here. This toilet is a Dometic porcelain foot flush plastic. You've got some hooks, which are always nice. And then you've got more storage back here. So, I mean, any place that you can fit more storage is great, right? You also get a slider door. So I like that because it doesn't take up space. It's not moving out or into one of the spaces. And then it can be open or closed and it's out of the way. So let's go up these stairs now because this is that bedroom above the garage that we looked at earlier. Come on. So coming into this bedroom, I know this is a bit of a cramped bedroom, but everything's a given a take in an RV, right? And remember, you're getting that huge garage. Uh, so this is not a solid corridor, which is not unusual, but I'm noticing there are a few little things that could use some work and quality workmanship here. This handle could be placed differently. So this is sort of the wardrobe area in this bedroom. You would have your TV and stuff up there. And then um, this does have uh, lots of storage space and there is a hanger in there. Um, but again, this is the kind of quality control issue that I'm talking about um, that, you know, before you take this home, you would want to make sure that the dealership fixed those kinds of things for you. So when we move over to this side of the bed, and remember things are pretty tight here. This slide is out as far as it's going to go, and the bed is in its up position because of the garage. So I just want to remind you that this is all going to move down to here when the garage is empty. So there's more storage here and it does have the racks for hanging and the racks are this way so i also like that because you can have a more shallow space because your stuff is hanging that way instead um, you do get four drawers here um, and again it seems really awkward to open these right now but that's just because this bed is in this up position if we move on down and, and i am telling you it's not really big there is a beautiful window here and a nice seat. So I do really like that. But if you look over here, you've got one of my favorite things, which is a nightstand, but it is a little bit blocked by the slide. Uh, not enough that it would cause any big troubles, just that it is. But there is plug-in and I get a nightstand, so I love that. There's also more storage up here and for being above the bed, this is pretty reachable storage for me. So I like that. Then we got this bed. <laughs> now remember, this bed would be way lower. This is a queen residential mattress. And you do get lighting right above your head. You do get uh, air conditioning in here and heating is in the floor. So at the end of the bed here, there's also this space, which you can make whatever you want. It's got hooks for closet space, but this could also be plumbed and electrical in here for washer and dryer. You could actually put a stackable in here. So that's, that's huge. I love having a washer and dryer and the fact that you could have you know separate units is even better. So that's a great space there. But if you don't want a washer and dryer, then you got a closet. Okay, let's go around to the other side of the bed. 
So down this side of the bed, again, another huge window that I would love. And remember when this bed is down, you, can you see anything back here? Not behind you, no. <laughs> Just tell me about it. Take my word for it. There is another nice nightstand, electrical and more reachable storage. <laughs> So that's pretty cool. The other thing, um, I don't know if Corey can show you or not, but when this bed is down, the mattress ends here and you get this nice cushioned end of bed seat as well. So that's kind of cool. Also, this is, like I said, when we were in the garage, it's kind of like an upside down slide thing. So it is also on the slim rack system and there is controls for it and it slides up and down. So give and take. Do you want the garage? Do you want to bring that bike or the golf cart or whatever with you? Because if that garage is important, this is a cool rig. And what you give is a little bit of space in your bedroom. And it's still functional. When this is down, this room's going to look completely different. So, your RV. You got to decide what's best for you. Okay, let me share with you the numbers on the Cedar Creek Silverback uh, 37RTH. This is a 2019, so keep that in mind as well. Uh, the GVW is 18,000 pounds, the hitch weight 3,176 pounds, the UVW 14,190 pounds, uh, the cargo carrying capacity 3,810 pounds, but they're saying that's overall, and I need to find out more about that garage weight. So let's leave that number a little bit open. The exterior length is actually 41 foot 1 inch. The exterior height, 13 feet 5 inches. Uh, exterior width, 96 inches. The on-demand fresh water, 69 gallons. The gray water, 80 gallons. Black water, 40 gallons. And the awning size is 18 feet. So that is those particular numbers. I also wanted to share with you that the refrigerator was an upgrade. I'm not sure what the cost of that was. And it does have a wireless rear camera system. And that's what we were looking at in the cabinet there. Uh, so the suggested retail price on the 2019 today here in Kamloops, and don't forget that's Canadian dollars, is $112,467. So uh, I'm sure that these people here at the South Thompson RV Centre would be really willing to talk about that with you if this is the rig that you want to get. Well, that wraps up our tour on the Silverback 37 RTH. This is a really great trailer with some unique features, and if it's the one that you're thinking about, that's pretty cool. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that little notification bell so you know when we bring something else out. And we also have some cool adventures you can follow along with, too. I'll put a link up in the corners to that nuts and bolts construction video from another one that we did previously, as well as one of our adventures. If you know anything about those upper cabinets, please leave us a comment and tell us what you're doing with them. Thanks for watching.